Number nine. Among the solubility rules previously discussed is the statement, all chlorides are soluble except Hg2Cl2, AgCl, PbCl2, and CuCl. And then we have letter A. Write the expression for the equilibrium constant for the reaction represented by the equation. AgCl solid yields Ag plus aqueous plus Cl minus aqueous. And then they say, is the Kc greater than 1, less than 1, or roughly equal to 1? And then explain your answer. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go right for it. We're going to write the expression for the equilibrium constant. This is the first time we're doing it, so I got you guys. It's, it goes by a template, all right? So the template formula is this. It's a beautiful template formula, if I don't say so myself. And I picked KC because I see that they're looking for KC here, okay? So KC is the equilibrium constant. This just tells you at equilibrium what you're going to have. At equilibrium, you either have three choices. A KC value could either be less than 1, roughly equal to 1, or greater, to one, greater than 1. This is going to come in handy when we answer the second part of the question. But for right now, let's just get into the hang of it of writing a KC expression. So all we have to do here is we just have to say KC equals, and then I'm going to write that division sign. Now, I always say in my head, it's always products divided by reactants. It's as simple as that. Don't worry about this for now. This stands for coefficients. But as far as a Kc value, it's always products divided by reactants. So if I just erase this a little bit, and here is my equation, and maybe, maybe what I'll do is I'll just rewrite it bigger, just so that I can um, mark it up a little bit better. So I have this, Ag+, plus, and that's aqueous. And then plus Cl minus, and that's also aqueous. Okay, so here's my equation. Remember, just always make sure that the, that the equation is balanced, but this equation is balanced, so we're good. And now it's products, this is the product side, divided by the reactants. Now, there's a few things here. There are states. We have to look out for the states, okay? In this equation, you only have one state that's actually two states that are allowed. Only, so I'll say only aqueous and gas allowed. No solid and no liquid. So look at those states. Here's a solid. That means that in this equation, I can't write this. So I'm just going to cross it out. But these are aqueous. So we're good with that. Now let's try to write our equation. So we have the products. It looks like I have two products. I got Ag and I have Cl, right? Ag plus and Cl minus. And since we're doing Kc, it's all about brackets. Brackets means concentration, aka molarity. So I'm just going to say that I have Ag plus, and you don't really have to write the states once you're going in here. So I have Ag plus silver plus times, when you have two of them, it's multiple, multiplication. I'm just going to write it next door. And then Cl minus, close that bracket. So it's the concentration of those two multiplied by each other. That's the end for the product. And now I come over to the reactant, but I can't use this because it's a solid. If you can't use something, you just put a 1. So now here's my Kc value. If you want to just strip this away, because anything over 1 is itself, you could just say this. That's fair too. So usually you'll see this on a test. You won't really see the over 1, because that's too easy. So I'll leave it like this. So we answer the first part of the question. This is what the, K, uh, the equilibrium constant would be. And now it says, would this be... Greater than 1, less than 1, or equal to 1? Well, let's see. They said that all chlorides are soluble. That means that they break down. 
except for these exceptions. There's four exceptions. Is what we have one of the exceptions? Yes, it is. They said that AGCL was one of the exceptions, right? So that means that AGCL is insoluble. That means that it does not break down. It's a precipitate. So if it stays as a precipitate, is it, if it stays as a solid, does it want to break down into its ions? No, right? And maybe I'll just get rid of this because then I can go back on here. So this is a solid, right? It's insoluble. It's a precipitate. And it's going to basically stay a solid. Do you think that this reaction is going to happen? Not really, right? The solid is going to stay a solid. It does not want to make its reactants, uh, its products of uh, being, you know, the, the ions. So if I had to say what side is going to be more, is the solid side going to be more or the, react, uh, the product side going to be more? This side is going to be more because solubles, insoluble guys, right, solids, they're going to stay like that. So in this case, you're going to have way more of your reactant. And because of that, then I have to realize, okay, more reactants at equilibrium means that my Kc is always going to be less than 1. So this equilibrium constant, this Kc value would be less than 1. And then explain your answer. Basically just what I said, but just write it down. That if you have a solid you're not really going to try to break that up. Insoluble guys remain solids for the most part. So you will not go to your products, meaning that you're going to have more reactants than your products, way more than this than this, and that's why we came to this. All right? So hopefully that helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, and I will see you in uh, letter B because this one is letter A. All right? So I'll see you in a few seconds for letter B. Okay? Bye-bye.